a minute ago. I think you went down a hole. Harry! Oh. Billy! Good work, Harry. Let's get back to the office. Don't you believe now that you're in danger from that torch gang? Sure, we all are. So what? They're after you, Billy, for information they think you have. Information that's vital to the safety of your country. Before your father disappeared, he was working on the formula for the most powerful explosive ever invented. What if he was? We know that he left important records. And we've got to secure them before they fall into the hands of the organization trying to overthrow us. Get this wise guy. I ain't working with no coppers. Not working with cops, Billy. It's your government that needs help. Look, the government or the cops never did nothing for me. Wait a minute. They just saved you from that gang. We believe that this is the same gang that caused the disappearance lately of several prominent people. There's Milburn of the Stock Exchange, Harris of the Steel Company, and several high officials of the Army and Navy. Yeah, I read about them taking it on the laminate papers. Hey, but they had some good reasons. Billy, will you help us find those papers? No, what for? If you have a spark of patriotism, you will. Stop preaching to me, wise guy. Come on, guys, let's get out of here. Wait a minute, tough guy. If you haven't got sense enough to know that gang's laying for you, we have. That's right. You'll need an escort. Come on. That's good. There's nobody trailing. Where can I drop you, Billy? Anywhere you want, Blackfoot. You're gonna find my hideout your own way. Okay, how about this? We'll see you. Take it easy, We can stay here as long as you can. Okay. Harry, get in and shut the door. Wait here a minute, fellas. I'll trail him and find out where Billy lives. I'd sure like to know, but Billy's a smart kid. Well, let me try anyhow. Turn the corner and I'll get out. All right, Harry. Harry! You want me to stand by? No, thanks, Uncle Jim. I'll report back at the office. Okay. Just as I thought, that stool pigeon's coming back again. We'll gang him. Here he is now. Come on. You got no brains when I go home? What do you think this is, a flop house? I want to see what happened to you. Don't worry, nothing's going to happen to me. I'll take care of myself. Hey, where do you get a load of this? Hey, what did the G-men do to you? Forget the G-men. We got something more important to think about. There's a gang out after us. On a level. They got his old man already. It's our fight. The cops are out. Chip Terry and me know these mugs. We're going to keep an eye open for them. Boy, when we get them, it's just going to be too bad. So Walter Riley. Hey, what you got in the bag? Pie. Green pie. Hiya, Terry. Come on. The rotten kid wasn't back there with that gang. No, but keep going. Turk was sure he saw him someplace in this neighborhood. Let's go somewhere near, huh? Oh, 
What's the matter? Hold this a minute. Now, about that car. Yes, change your mind. Yes, Sir Walter. I changed my mind. <laughs> Torches were in that car. Come on, let's trail them. Here comes the truck. Come on. Yeah. Wait a minute. Fools are not. Hold on. Hey, ah, those guys will get away before I can tell Billy. No, they won't. Cover me. I'm going to work on that car. Plenty of gasoline. The carburetor's floating now. Must be that ignition again. Leave it here and we'll phone in. You are speaking. Yes, Bert. Car out of order. Well, that's a lot of help, and it's most important to locate that Barton boy. Code number eight and arrange for transportation there. Torches. Yeah, I fixed that car so they couldn't start it. Good, Zip and I'll take the car out. Terry, you round up the rest of the gang and stand by. Check. Oh, let's take their license number and find out where they live, huh? Head, head, kid, will you? Cooks always use phony plates. Look, you follow orders. I'll do the brain work. Yeah, we would. Hit the road! Oh, let's get out of here. Nobody's coming after that car. You can go ahead if you want to, but I'm sticking. Okay. Hey, look! They sent somebody else after the car. Hey, somebody's cut that ignition cable away. Yeah. Well, there's another one in the truck. That don't look like no repair truck to me. Come on, let's give it the once over. Yeah, let's have a look. Could be a repair truck. Look at all the tires and tubes and stuff. Ooh, get all those batteries. If we had one of them, we could have some light in the shack. Well, now, let's cop it. Hey, what's this? High explosive. It's dangerous. Don't touch that. It's dangerous. Oh, it might come in handy. Put it back, will you? Okay, I will. Hey, Foster. You coming to number eight with a van? No, I'm going direct to headquarters. Right. Hey, I wonder what we 
we're going. I don't know. Don't ask dumb questions, will you? See a thing. explosive as soon as the steel block arrives. You don't suppose Colonel Barton's willingness to demonstrate has anything to do with a plan of escape? I'm taking every precaution as to that, sir. Well, observe it closely and make a full report. Yes, sir. you are offering to make is part of a plan you have to escape. It may prove very costly to you. This wax capsule contains less than two grams of my explosive bark knife, which you'll place in this hole in the steel block. Just what has Bartonite got that other explosives haven't? Well, the vibration set up by its detonation causes other explosives nearby to detonate also. What do you mean by nearby? Its effective range is anywhere from 100 feet to 100 miles, regulated by the amount of explosive used. You claim it's the most powerful explosive ever invented. It is. This steel block represents the tensile strength of the strongest form, and you'll see what a very small quantity of botanite does to it. The block isn't very big, only 24 inches square. It could be 240 feet square and still be destroyed in the same manner by a correspondingly larger amount of botanite. I did that purposely, just to show you that shock will not detonate it. You could even fire a bullet into it. I think there are some guards watching the place. Get back to those bushes. Let's be careful. Just how do you detonate it? This receives the impulse and is connected with the explosion. This remote control will fire the charge from whatever point it's designed. You're sure it's safe for me to connect the receiver to the explosive? Oh, perfectly. So long as the sending set that's out of control from here is not plugged in and turned on. What happened? What's the matter, 
Get. in the old vault house. Watch him closely, Corey. Pull that plug. Don't let him connect it again until Kirk brings the order. I'll watch him. I trust I'm not interfering with any plan you might have had to blow with them. Not at all. What happened? Well, they hopped that wall up with some electricity or something. You must have touched a hot wire. Yes, somebody. They're coming this way. Come on. Put it on there. Sure hope Corey keeps a close watch on the colonel at the other end of this because I don't want to be here when it blows up. Uh, you and me both. You probably sure there's no other explosives around here? Only that bottle of high explosive in the truck at the garage. Well, that's far enough away. You heard the colonel say if there's no other explosive within 300 feet of us, we're safe. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, come on, let's get out of here. Tell Corey, okay. Let's get over by that shrubby just in case Barton's pulled a fast one. Captain Severn said it's okay, Corey. It's all set. Hey, get rid of that stuff before it blows up, will you? Yeah, sure. What am I going to do with it?